Welcome back everyone. I want to go over the top three stocks I'm looking at right now. One of these is rumored to be working with Tesla and I recently bought the other two of these three stocks. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe and hit the bell to get notified for my latest videos. Also make sure to check out the links under the description of this video to get access to my private discord and other great investing apps. The first stock I want to talk about is Romeo Power. The ticker symbol is RMO. Romeo Power is an energy technology leader delivering large-scale electrification solutions for complex commercial applications. Through its suite of advanced hardware combined with its innovative battery management system, Romeo Power delivers the safety, performance, and reliability its customers need to succeed. With the highest energy dense module on the market, Romeo Power has a bold vision to create a world where energy poverty no longer exists. It was founded in 2016 and it is based out of Los Angeles, California. This is one company that will benefit from the shift into green energy and the shift in electrification. Let's take a look at this video from the CEO last year explaining the strength of their business. And good morning, Morgan. What, what matters to the customers really are wh why we're winning. Safety, reliability, configurability, and energy density. Okay, so innovation per unit time is the most important facets of that. What we're doing is enabling our customers to go further on a single charge. And also, we have the best fast charging capabilities. Today, we're charging large capacity, large uh, commercial vehicle batteries in 30 minutes or less and we have a glide path to 15 minutes or less so technology innovation per unit time first and foremost the second morgan is operational excellence so i actually partnered with borgwana we have been partnered with them since 2019 to de-risk our high growth business plan so we've been partnered with them on optimizing our manufacturing system getting cost out of our bill of materials and quite frankly from the sales standpoint while myself and my team are, are focused in north america to grab market share Leveraging our partnership with Borgwana to take market share throughout the European and Asian region. Last year, this stock peaked near $35 and slowly melted away down to its current trading range of around $7. I like this stock for a swing trade and began buying it two days ago. This stock has plenty of potential for a long-term investment or a trade at these levels. I'm looking to hold this position for about three weeks. The second stock is Canoe. The ticker symbol is G-O-E-V, Go EV. Canoe is a Los Angeles based company that has developed breakthrough electric vehicles, reinventing the automotive landscape with bold innovations in design, pioneering technologies, and unique business model that defies traditional ownership to put customers first. Distinguished by its experienced team, numbering over 350 employees from leading technology and automotive companies, Canoe has designed a modular electric platform purpose built to deliver maximum vehicle interior space and adaptable to support a wide range of vehicle applications for consumers and businesses. Canoe expects to launch its first consumer model in 2022. Simply name the Canoe and available by subscription, followed shortly after by a multi-purpose delivery vehicle and a sport vehicle, each built off the same underlying platform. Personally, I like trucks, SUVs, and the outdoors, and their line of vehicles is most appealing to me. I like their modern, rugged, industrial look. I'm sure their vehicles will be a hit or miss for many people and nothing in between. You either love it or hate it. They currently have three EVs in the works, Canoe, their standard vehicle, MPDV, their multi-purpose delivery vehicle and the last one is their pickup truck let's take a look at the utility of their pickup truck this is designed for many different use cases we design from the inside out and then the outside in it's the size of a small pickup and has the payload of a full size this is amazing i can tell you i'm blown away and so i can do things like have a workbench at the same time, maybe I want to put a camper shell on this and have access through the cabin to the cargo area. I see so many different unique consumer use cases in this vehicle. Let me show you one use case that I think is, is pretty powerful. My tools can go in here and my batteries are charging automatically because this is a power plant, right? And so I got the ability to have a workbench here. So I have plugs, USB, mini USB, whatever you want. These are all accessorizable. And you could do that all day long and you wouldn't hit 10% of the battery life. Everything has multiple purposes. So the battery pack is designed to be upgraded, replaced, repaired. It's got 300 horsepower, nearly 300 pounds of torque. And I can put two of them in there 
Down below, we have a set of other toolboxes or safety boxes. Helps me get access here. But let's just say I gotta go pick up, you know, a sheet of plywood. Well, now I need an eight-foot bed. We, we have it so that I now have an eight-foot bed. And then, of course, I wanna go back down to a six-foot bed. Just put it away. We want to be clear, when the working person sees this, they go, I can have a better quality of life with this vehicle, and I can get a return on capital. You got to build something for the second owner. Why? Because you actually then care about the first owner, because he's going to be able to sell it for what it's worth. It's maximizing technology to allow for the utilization of space and make it for me. I really like the diversity between an outdoor camper and extending truck bed for carrying a foot long lumber worker truck. Just like Romeo Power, this is trading around $7. You will definitely need a little patience for this stock since their vehicles won't be in the market until another year or two. I also bought this one two days ago. I plan on swing trading this one as well for about three weeks, but I am contemplating on holding on these shares. I'm definitely a fan of their aesthetics. The last stock on the list is Luminar Technologies and is rumored to be possibly partnering up with Tesla. The ticker symbol is LAZR. Luminar's vision is to take autonomous transportation safe and ubiquitous. As a global leader in LiDAR autonomous driving technology, they are enabling the world's first autonomous solutions for automotive series production in passenger cars and commercial trucks. Founded in 2012 by CEO Austin Russell, Luminar built a new type of LiDAR from the chip level up with technological breakthroughs across all core components. As a result, they have created the only LiDAR sensor that meets the demanding performance, safety, and cost requirements to enable level three through level five autonomous vehicles in production, bypassing the traditional limitations of legacy LiDAR technology. Integrating this advanced hardware with their custom developed software stack enables a turnkey autonomous solution to accelerate widespread adoption across automakers at series production scale. Before we go further into the rumor, let's take a look at what Elon thinks about LiDAR. LiDAR, because it's pretty clear you don't like LiDAR. And this- LiDAR is uh, lame, LiDAR is lame. <laughs> lame. That isn't there like a case where at some point, 99999 down the road, where actually LiDAR may be helpful and why not have it as some sort of a redundancy or backup? So that's my first question. And the second, so you can still have your um, focus on computer vision, but just have it as a redundant. And my second question is, if that is true, what happens to the rest of the industry that's building their autonomy solutions on LiDAR? They're all going to dump LiDAR, that's my prediction. Mark my words. Um, I should point out that I don't actually super hate LiDAR as much as it may sound, um, but at SpaceX, uh, SpaceX Dragon uses LiDAR to navigate to the space station and dock. Not only that, we de SpaceX developed its own LiDAR from scratch to do that, and I spearheaded that effort personally. Because in that scenario, LiDAR makes sense. And in cars, it's friggin' stupid. It's expensive and unnecessary, and as Andre was saying, once you solve vision, it, it's, it's worthless. So you have expensive hardware that's worthless on the car. This is interesting since Elon has been very vocal about disliking the LiDAR technology. Today on social media, I saw this picture of a Tesla testing LiDAR technology and speculating that that was Luminar Technologies LiDAR unit above the vehicle. This is all speculation and it is a rumor. The other interesting part of this rumor is that Elon explains in the video that they have their own LiDAR technology with SpaceX and it has very specific uses that doesn't make any sense to be added in to an autonomous car. It is very possible that they are testing LiDAR technology, but not necessarily Luminar's technology. It could very be their own LiDAR technology. I still think this company is very interesting and trading at a great price. It's currently trading around $23 and late last year it hit a high of around $45. I think all three of these stocks have great potential for a trade or a long-term investment. Let me know in the comments below which one of these three was your favorite or which one of these three are you invested in. Thank you.